The Yadkin Valley in North Carolina, where tobacco once ruled, is now home to thriving wineries. Two families left the big city to follow their dreams of a better life for themselves and their children. Nick and Jennifer White and Lewis and Carrie Jaroslow worked for the Blue Man Group for about a decade before making Elkin, North Carolina their new home. Nick, Jennifer, you guys have such an interesting background. You've been in the entertainment business, and now you're here. You're, you're making wine. How'd this happen? We worked together in Las Vegas. I was a stage manager. and Drummer. And you were drumming? Years, yes. All right, so you were the guy beating that paint One up of in the air, yes. right, right? Yes. We've been together for a long time, and once we decided to finally get married, this is where we got married back in 2008. And you had friends that you worked with. Uh, mm -hmm which were Lewis and Carrie. Carrie was actually our minister. Okay. So she okay. married us. Okay. Yes. Tell me about this partnership you have with this couple, you know, with Lewis and with Carrie. Well, first and foremost, they're our friends. She married us. That says something about, you know, how much we care about each other. I married them down by the creek, so that's how we found, all found Elk and Creek when you're together. My husband, Lewis, was making wine, and, um, Nick wanted to work with the land, so it was just kind of all came together as a vision. We share this passion for this place yes. and about this place to make it the best possible place it can be. And the winemaking, you know, Lewis is extremely passionate about winemaking. And he's good. And, and he's good. He's so good. And, and he's good. It's good already. Winemaking is a year-long process with each season playing a vital role in the development of the grapes. Even the winter season allows the dormant plants to rest. So what are you doing? We're pruning. Pruning. Yes, we're, we're getting rid of the, the old and getting ready for the new. It's very easy to say, okay, I'm gonna keep this. Boom, you make and a cut, cut it. and it's gone. So uh, look three or four times and cut one time. <laughs> Now, that looked to me like a large piece, but was that really just one year's growth? Yes, sir. Okay. We're going to keep right. this. There you go. Take the whoppers there. Okay. The whoppers. And you're going to get... That that's good? good. Okay. There All you right. go. So... Then you'll just take this. And untwine it. Take this guy. And just twist it around. Very gently. Lay it down. Of course, we started on the other side of the hill. And Lewis and I said, you know, we just, we couldn't wait to, to get to the top of that hill. And we said, you know, when we get to the top, it's going to be like Everest. We're just going to plant a big flag in the top, take some photos, and say, we made it to the top. And now we're down here at the very last row and look back. And I kind of wish we would have planted a flag up there. <laughs> now I kind of wish we would have done it. We covered a lot of ground and real, real nice feeling. And from this, this will basically cover cover up and, and it will be loaded with grapes uh, at the end of the yes. summer. Yes. Yes. Sure, it's great to be here during harvest time because this is when everything comes together. All right, so this is a good looking bunch. Just a few bad ones and we take those out just like that because they're a little sour. You wouldn't want those to go in the crusher. And uh, that looks great. So, oh, wow. Hey Nick, I've You're got hired. my bucket here. You're hired. <laughs> You're hired right now. Gonna... We were here during the winter when you were clipping, there was no leaves, and, and now none of their leaves are grapes. Yeah. yeah. You know, you see the progress, yeah. literally. So Louis, what type of grapes are those? Those are Sangiovese. Okay. Sangiovese is varietal common in Italy. It's actually uh -huh. the most cultivated grape in the country. But so what, now what are these? These are Viognier from Prince. Okay. Uh, well, from Yadkin Valley, from Elkin Creek Vineyard, but, uh, but the varietal is from France. So making wine though is not easy, I suppose. It's as much art as science. If that's one of the things I, I really love about it. I mean, there's the foundational knowledge and there's a lot of lab work and chemistry. 
But then beyond that, it's also a living organism. And every year, every vintage is different. It has its own characteristics. The wine is always different. And in a way, you're sort of doing a dance with mm. the, the wine that it wants to become. And what they call growing the wine. You're the wine grower, and you're raising the wine. Are you surprised that he's able to make good wine now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not surprised he's able to do anything that he puts his mind to really, really well. He's a great winemaker, he's a good partner, he's a pilot. He is a helicopter mm -hmm. pilot, it's true. Okay, traffic, helicopter 2158 Tango, taxiing from the ramp for departure runway 25. Okay. Tell me what your life has been like since then. What was that? What was that shift like? <laughs> uh, non-stop. Non-stop. Well, the workload is huge. <laughs> we don't ever stop, but it's a good kind of not stopping. Busy, busy. Yeah. Very, very gratifying. Doctor. Doctor. We all worked together for Blue Man before, which I think was to our benefit. From that company, we learned a lot how to work together, even through challenges. They really do go at it. As if running the winery wasn't enough, they also manage the kitchen, where artisan pizzas are baked in a firewood brick oven. And boy, are they good. I think the first time I met you, you were making a pizza. Yes. I mean, yes. you were a drummer of the Blue Man Group, yes. and now you're tossing pizzas here. How They're that not, up? it's not that much different. <laughs> Yeah, I never thought I'd be making pizzas. It came with this, but I really, I really enjoy it. Good job, Nick. Thank you. Don't let the serious face fool you. <laughs> it is fun. So you got married, so there are a lot of weddings here. Is that what you're saying? There are, and, and more are coming all the time. And he and I get to witness a lot of weddings, and truly, every single time, we kind of look at each other, and just, it never gets old. We have four cabins just upstream on the Big Elkin Creek towards the front of the property. But we have thoughts about some other ideas, maybe some more cabins. One of the things that's great about this place, be it just coming on a Sunday for pizza and wine, or if you choose to have your wedding here, we want it to be that you come here, you have respite, you have joy, and you have celebration. Even if you don't drink wine, even if you don't want to eat pizza, you could just come here, sit on the swings, and just enjoy the view. You know, I mean, that's, we want to share it. You know, we want to share it with people. So, more kids on the way. Is this, is this something you're building for your kids? Mm -hmm. I want to create a better life for them. I mean, I want to create a better life for us. You know, just not, not better, but just more fulfilling. Mm -hmm. I want them to learn about following your dreams and not being scared. One of the qualities of the place that we would dream about for our children to grow up in. And we found it. This is the place and our kids get to grow up in this beautiful place, running and frolicking on a vineyard, in this beautiful, adorable little town with amazing, genuine people in it. And it's just, uh, we just feel very blessed. That's, it's, it's a fairy tale.